Portugal Golden Residence Visa Program. Frequently Asked Questions 1. The Golden Visa. What is it? The Golden Visa Program launched by the Portuguese authorities in October 2012 is a fast track for foreign investors from non-EU countries to obtain a fully valid residency permit in Portugal, Golden Visa. Under the Golden Visa Program, non-EU citizens simply need to carry out one of the investments set out in the law to qualify to obtain a residency permit in Portugal. This residency permit will allow the investor to enter and, or live in Portugal and to travel freely within the vast majority of European countries, Schengen space. Aimed at attracting foreign investment to Portugal, the Golden Visa is a very straightforward and flexible program, with simple and clear legal requirements. With extremely reduced minimum stay requirements, the Golden Visa is clearly one of the most attractive residency programs for investors in the world. 2. What are the main benefits of the Golden Visa program? The Golden Visa program will provide investors with the following advantages. No need to obtain a visa to enter Portugal. No need to obtain a visa to travel in Europe, Schengen area. Living and working in Portugal, even with residency in a different country. Extremely low minimum stay periods. Permanent residency after 5 years. Citizenship after 6 years. Residency extended to family members. 3. What types of investments are allowed under the Golden Visa rules? The requirements to obtain the Golden Visa are, acquisition of property in the amount of or greater than 500,000 euros. Transfer of funds above 1 million euros or more. Creation of at least 30 jobs in Portugal. It should be noted that only investments effectively made after 8th of October 2012 are eligible for the Golden Visa program. 4. What are the general requirements that the investor has to comply with? The simplicity of the Golden Visa program implies an extremely reduced amount of requirements being asked from the investor. The Golden Visa program sets out that the investor must comply with general requirements applicable to all types of qualifying investments and also with the specific requirements of each type of qualifying investment. In general, all investors have to comply with the following requirements, keep the investment for a minimum period of 5 years. Funds for investment should come from abroad. Entry in Portugal with a valid Schengen visa. Absence of references in the Portuguese immigration and the Schengen services. Absence of conviction of relevant crime. Minimum stay in Portugal, 7 days during the first year and 14 days during each subsequent period of 2 years. 5. What are the specific characteristics for each type of qualifying investment? Each type of investment has specific characteristics, as follows, property acquisitions. Minimum investment of 500,000 euros. Purchase of one or multiple properties. Possibility of co-ownership. All property types qualify. Freedom to use, rent or lease. Transfer of funds. Minimum investment of 1 million euros. Purchase of one or multiple properties. Total freedom to invest the funds. Funds transferred from abroad to a bank in Portugal. Possibility of using the funds to invest in shares of companies. Job creation. Creation of a minimum of 30 jobs. No limitation on areas, activities. No minimum investment value. Compliance with social security obligations. Possibility of grants, incentives, benefits. 6. What's the validity of the Golden Visa? Once issued, the Golden Visa will be valid for an initial period of one year and then will be renewed for subsequent periods of two years. 7. Where may the investor apply for a Golden Visa? Online at CEF At the Portuguese diplomatic or consular posts At Regional Directorate and Regional Delegation of the Immigration and Borders Service SEF, in Portugal 8. What are the costs involved in obtaining a Golden Visa? The Golden Visa involves payment of the following fees, payable directly to the Services of Foreigners and Borders CEF, Analysis Fair of the Visa Application Process for Investors Cost, 514,80 Euro Analysis Fair for each member of the family independently the degree of relationship, 80 euros and 20 cents Tax Card Issuance Visa for all members included the investor, price per person, 5,147,80 Euro Tax of renovation for all members, cost per person, 80 euros and 20 cents. Tax of renovation card, value for each member, 2,573,80 euro. 9. Is it possible to extend the Golden Visa to family members? Yes. Under the Golden Visa program, the investor's family members may also apply and obtain a resident permit from Portugal by applying for family reunion. The Golden Visa will be extended to family members, namely children, spouse and dependent family members. 
the family members will also be eligible for permanent residency after five years Portuguese citizenship after six years. 10. How can the investor and family obtain permanent residency after five years? Under Portuguese law any person that has held a valid Portuguese temporary residency title, for example the golden visa, for a period of at least five years, he will be entitled to obtain permanent residency in Portugal. The investor and family members will have to meet the following criteria in order to be able to apply for permanent residency in Portugal. Absence of conviction of relevant crime during the last, five years, proof of income, financial independence, proof of accommodation in Portugal, basic knowledge of Portuguese. 11. How can the investor and family obtain Portuguese citizenship? The Portuguese legislation also sets out that any person who has been validly resident in Portugal for at least six years, either under a temporary or permanent residency title, is eligible for obtaining Portuguese citizenship. In order to be able to obtain Portuguese citizenship, the investor and family members will also have to comply with the following requirements. Absence of conviction of any relevant crime. Be at least 18 years old, or at least 16 but married or legally responsible. Pass a simple Portuguese language test, which will serve to show sufficient knowledge of the language. 12. Which documents does the investor need to provide to apply for the golden visa? Passport or another valid traveling document. Proof of legal entry and permanence in national territory. Proof of health insurance. Signed application enabling consultation of the Portuguese criminal record by CEF. Criminal record certificate from the relevant authority of the applicant's home country or from any other country where he, she resided for over a year. As means of evidence of compliance with tax obligations, the applicant shall deliver a declaration proving the absence of debts issued by the Inland Revenue and Customs Authority and by the Social Security. 13. The documents are not in the Portuguese language. What must the investor do? Any document that is not in the Portuguese or English languages needs to be translated to Portuguese. The translation needs to be certified. 14. Are there any specific requirements for documents issued by foreign authorities? Document issued by foreign authorities need to be legalized before being submitted in Portugal. This legalization means obtaining the apostille of the Hague Convention, when applicable, or a legalization by the Portuguese consular services. 15. What is a fiscal number? Why does the investor need one and how does he obtain one? A fiscal number is an identification number before the Portuguese tax authorities also known as the tax number. This number is required to carry out the investments. 16. How long will the application take to be processed and does the investor have to pick up the golden visa in person? Once the application is submitted at the Services of Foreigners and Borders SEF, it will take around 1-2 to two weeks for the application to be processed. Please note that this is just an estimate based on our recent experience. Once the application is processed, the Services of Foreigners and Borders SEF, will contact the investor or the investor's legal representatives in Portugal and set up an appointment with the investor and family members to collect signature and fingerprints. It should be noted that in some cases, it is possible for the investor to go to the immigration services to leave the fingerprints and signature shortly before the investment and or submission of the required documents. 17. Are there any grounds for refusing the issuing of a golden visa or its renewal? The investor, or any family member, will only be refused the golden visa, or its renewal, if he, she has not complied with the minimum periods of stay in Portugal. He, she has not maintained the investment for the minimum period of five years. He, she has been convicted of a crime punishable with a prison sentence of more than one year. The investor is in a period where he, she has been banned entry into Portuguese territory following a removal measure of the country. On the grounds of public health, this may only be based on diseases that have been defined by the World Health Organization or other infectious or parasitic contagious diseases which are the object of protection measures in Portuguese territory. A golden visa may be refused on the grounds of public order, public security or public health. 18. What happens to the investment after 5 years, can the investor sell the property, transfer the money to another country? Yes, the investor only needs to hold the investment during the golden visa's validity period 5 years. 19. Can the investor sell the investment at any time if he no longer needs the golden visa? Yes, but without proof that the investment has been kept, the investor will not be able to renew the golden visa permit. 20. Does the investor need to live in, use the property he is purchasing or can it be rented out? No. The investor does not need to occupy the property and it can be rented out to obtain income. 
21. What are the taxes and costs for property acquisitions and ownership? There are three taxes in Portugal related to property. Payable with the property's acquisition. IMT or property transfer tax, which is the tax on transfer of ownership of property. Stamp duty, payable on an annual basis, IMI or council tax, which is the annual municipal property tax, it is levied between 0.3% and half a percent on the property's tax value. Note, the exact amount of taxes to be paid varies according to the actual value of the acquisition. 22. With the golden visa does the investor need to pay taxes in Portugal on his worldwide income? No. If the holder of the golden visa does not stay in Portugal for more than 183 consecutive days, he, she will not be required to pay taxes for income generated outside of Portugal.